Hello, amazing, wonderful, beautiful, and incredible Minecrafting fam. And happy, wonderful hump yay! <laughs> Where's that camel? <laughs> Welcome back to the Minecrafting Doc Channel. My name is Caridad, and I am your mind host. I am an LMHC licensed mental health counselor, and I have an EDD, a doctorate in counseling psychology. Today, I have a special feature for you, and you're going to love it. But before we get started, I wanted to share just a few little things. First of all, it is free day for me. That's why you see me wearing this. And secondly, you see we're not in the craft room. And why is that? Because today we are hanging out with the fish, literally. And why is that? Because there's nothing like a fish tank to change where your mind is at. Remember, when you lose your mind, go to your senses. This is being in the senses. And I believe that everything has therapy in it. So therapize your mind and balance your mind and soul. So with that being said, let me introduce you to my two little friends here. They belong to my wonderful, amazing husband. And we have the South American, <laughs> I hope I got that right, cichlids. And this is Frank. I hope you can see him. I'm pointing, but you know I'm visually impaired, so I can't see exactly what I'm doing right now, but I am pointing. So here is Frank, and this is Turbo, and Turbo likes to fight. Yes, Turbo needs some um, alone time and some um, going to his senses, because most of the time he's trying to fight your finger, and he does fight with my dog. One day I'll post that. The other thing I want to talk to you about, so gaze into the fish wonderful tank and enjoy yourself the other thing i wanted to talk to you about is the craft project i worked on with my niece today juju good juju you know that anyways she'll be joining us so i know we're gonna have a blast so i have this wonderful you see this this is a wonderful beautiful art project it's a craft put together it is a push pop posy from crafters companion of course i got it on hsn because you know how much i love them and what happens is here we go here we go here we go bam the magic happens look at that and then of course you decorate all the inside my niece she went ahead and did that and embossed it i'm going to show you what that is one day put a little flower there i thought it was cute turn it to the other side and this is a get well card anyone that gets this i feel hello i am healthy and happy how can you not feel better with that? Not just that, if anything, look at all the little sides. Oh my God, and it's got bling everywhere. And here we go, bam, and boom. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> all righty, so now for my special wonderful guest, put one minute before I go there. Do not forget to subscribe below and ring that bell. Oh, look, I could use both hands because I'm not in the craft room. You know that song. We all love it. And last but not least, I am going to give you a thumb up again. And again, as always, I am so honored that you're here hanging out, being with me, taking the time out of your life to hang out with me and see how we shift the minds. And don't forget we talked about mental health last week, mental illness mental wellness and let's just a mental illness quickie for you so when it comes to mental illness most of us think what is that that uh some people think it doesn't exist well here's the thing your body and mind are connected so if illness exists for your body it definitely exists for your mind and here's the challenge that just like your body please ignore my dog she's happy um when your body gets sick or is getting sick, it gets a cold, it gets a flu, something like that happens, we don't think that that happens to our mind. Well, I will have you know that it does happen to our mind. And the way it happens to our mind is when we do not take care of it. So when you in, take the time to go, hey, you know what? Part of mental health is mental illness and it does exist. So when you don't take care of your mind, mental illness will follow. So take the time to look at the fish. Take the time to be with nature. Take the time to listen to your dog playing and barking. Take the time to ask Juju to come in here with us and give us some tips and tricks. And we'll be talking about mental digestion, MDing yourself. Juju, 
get out here and join the Minecrafting fam. Oh my God, look at us. We're right on target. And here we go. Yes, the doggy is with her. We're not having one of our usuals, but you know, here we bring it live and grooming your way. Cause this is <laughs> Minecrafting time. Oh, and one last thing as my beautiful, wonderful, incredible niece sits here with us, Juju. I wanted you to know that Minecrafting can be done anywhere, and that's why we're sitting with the fishes. <laughs> Anyways, our cichlids. All right, so we're gonna give a little room so you can see them. And it, as you can see, the Minecrafting dock is on there, just like when you watch HSN and QVC. They have QVC and HSN. Oh, my doggy was gonna fight with Turbo. Check her out, check her out, do you see her? It's the cutest thing! Okay, anyways, I'll try to get that for you in the future. And my niece will make sure that she speaks loud and proud so you can hear her. She is one of our amazing Minecrafting fam. So, my beautiful niece Juju, thank you so much for joining this channel, and you are my first guest ever. No one else wanted to come, so I am so, <laughs> Grateful, I mean that. I am so grateful to you for taking the time and doing this with your Titi Kari. Come in here, some. Come in here, some. I want them all to see how amazing and incredible you are. Juju, meet the Minecrafting fam family. Hello, Minecrafting fam family. <laughs> all right, so Juju, my question is for you. Okay, just like I got practice. One day I'll be on QVC or HSN. Hi, hire me. Okay, so we're gonna talk about MD. You empty yourself, which is mental digestion, which is clearing the poop, metaphorically speaking. Just like your number one or number two, you need to number, we'll call it number five, out of the mind. Because otherwise it all sits in there and it clogs up everything, you know, like it would down there. And eventually it will kill you. But it kills you differently than it would here. You do get sick. So, when you heard your TT, me, talk about... MDing yourself, mental digestion. What exactly did your mind tell you? My mind told me that it was a bunch of baloney and that it wasn't gonna, I know, not him, baloney. That it wasn't going to work and that there was nothing that I could do to get out of the situation, whether it was physically being in a situation or mentally being in a pickle, if you were, a tough spot, that it wasn't gonna work just like I thought therapy wouldn't work, medications wouldn't work, different things like that. I thought I was just stuck. I love that she shares that because I can guarantee you that she's not the only one. And she's a young one, but many old ones, should I call us old? Well, you know, more experienced folk, they do think the same. Thank you for sharing that. And that does make a lot of sense. Cause you know what? You can't believe everything you think. And that's mainly for that negativity crap that the mind gives you. Why? Because it's like a baby. You wouldn't trust the baby, would you? Okay, moving right along. <laughs> so, when did you, regardless of all this negative thinking and believing it, when did you tap into it? And what made you tap into it? Because you believed all that other stuff. I did, I believed all the other stuff. I don't remember the exact date, but I do remember just being very overwhelmed and I do have a history of with substance abuse so when I tend to get very overwhelmed and I can't organize my thoughts properly it tends to either make me want to relapse or to use anything which is something that I've been trying really hard to digress from and not to do anymore so I decided to try what you recommended which was mental digestion because smiling three times and box breathing box breathing is my go-to really honestly I didn't in the beginning it didn't work but it did work eventually but um i was very overwhelmed so i called you and just being able to talk to a positive healthy source and able to process those different feelings that i was having and being able to organize them because i do have a problem with organization mentally and physically I, i'm not one nice person um and it was just really helpful to be able to put everything in a list and see it from a different perspective rather than the negative perspective that i was only able to see at that moment. Oh my God, you do. Thank you so much for being so naked with all of us. As you see, I'm wearing a tank, so I'm not. But metaphorically speaking, most of us, when it comes to mental digestion, will hide in the dark, keep it all in there, and then that 
challenge becomes bigger and here she is thank you juju sharing it with all of us the difficulties the things she faces how she's facing it, how she's working on them and being okay with doing that i love when we become transparent and then we all get to see and hear how normal we all are when it comes to challenges so many of us you guys better comment down below and let Juju know how incredible and amazing she is for coming up in here and sharing and being transparent without a second thought in mind. So thank you. <laughs> and, all right. Would you recommend it and why? I would recommend it because I feel like for people that have similar brain functions that I do where there's like six different movies playing at the same time, seven different shows. Like the dog like, playing with the toy right now. Look at all the <laughs> control she has with this mental digestive. Yeah. Continue. But it's really helpful because like I said before, you get to put it in perspective of a different person's point of view that might see other ways out of the situation than you might. And it's a little uncomfortable at first depending on who you share with. I personally, I don't, I'm not a very open person and I don't really like talking about my feelings at all. But um, I've learned that becoming comfortable with the uncomfortable is the best way to be. What? That's what my husband says a lot. Work on becoming comfortable with the uncomfortable and life will get better. Hey, you're going to be uncomfortable anyway, so you might as well become comfortable with it and ignore the dog. Yes, or enjoy the dog. Why? Because she's letting us know that when you play, <laughs> the mind also relaxes and she's always playing. Okay, so Juju, also, you know, as I hear you talk about these things, mental digestion does also bring some kind of relief and emptying in itself, does it not? It does, I agree. And most people would think that when you digest mentally, it does not empty, but it does bring some empty, which then allows for clarity, but not all the time. Sometimes you mental digest, you just vent. But like Juju said, it should be done with someone that supports you, that you trust, and that's gonna be there for you, not add to the negativity. You want someone that's gonna process with you with kindness and respect. And that, I believe, is key. I agree. So, it is time for us to sign off because I believe, you know, we don't need to talk about this no more. All right, because we're running, I can't see the time. Tell me the time. Oh my God, it's 12 minutes. We've gone over. <laughs> but this was a wonderful and beautiful and Juju. Thank you so much. And what do you think of the Frank and Turbo? I think that they're great accessories to the show. You heard that? Great accessories to the show. To the I show. think so too. Thank you so much for coming on, talking to us about MD, mental digestion, and taking the time to share with the world what a difference it has made for you, especially when she's a youngin. So if a youngin can do it, anyone can tap in. This is Caridad signing out. And Juju. <laughs> and Juju. <laughs>